Hey y'all, it's Taryn. It is Sunday, August 18th. Welcome. I hope y'all had a good couple of weeks. I have. I didn't get a ton of stitching done. <clears throat> I stitched every day that we were in New Orleans. Um, I think some days it was like, okay, here's five stitches. And then yesterday I forgot to stitch. I woke up this morning and I was like, crap. I didn't stitch yesterday. I got up early and I did not come out here and stitch because I went straight to the office and I knew if I came out here I would be late getting in and then having to stay later. So I got up and went straight to the office and came home and there was all this stuff to do and I didn't put any stitches in. So I ran to my streak. Um, I made it up through yesterday stitching every day so I guess today I'm gonna start over again and see how far I get but not really intentionally starting because that kind of will ruin it for me I'm sure I'm too much of a rebel yeah <clears throat> so anyway I did stitch while we were gone um, like I said some days it wasn't very much I am hoping that I'm not getting sick, I'm hoping that um, the cough that I seem to have this morning and the kind of scratchy throat is because we were out way too late last night and got up way too early this morning. Y'all keep your fingers crossed for me. I want to be sick. <clears throat> so anyway, I guess we'll get to it. I worked on this one. But I feel like I actually made some progress. Um, let me move my needle minder. <clears throat> actually moved the hoop. So if nothing else, I did get that done, right? So. <clears throat> I did a lot of um, outlining in here. There's a little propeller that goes on the plane that's in a different color than the black I was using. And there's like two stitches in a different color that go on the pony's head. But I did the outlining and it's hard to tell that I came down here and added in some more. In Santa's bag of goodies and a little bit in um, leaves right here. It's in the right direction at least. I didn't frog anything. There's a mistake in there and it's one from way back in the beginning. I am not going back and looking for it. Not at this point. <clears throat> Probably not at any point, but certainly not now. I cross-stitched on the Christmas Gentleman a little bit. Um, it's a leisure arts booklet. Quite frankly, I don't know where I was before, so I'm not really sure what I've done extra. I took this. This was one that went to New Orleans. Um, it didn't get... It, it wasn't like I spent hours stitching on it. Um, it may have gotten the five stitches. I really don't know. <clears throat> because it's New Orleans, and that's how it goes in New Orleans. You don't know. Our hotel, I booked uh, like a suite. Um, it had the whole full kitchen and all that in it. Um, on the map, it looked closer than it was. It was at least three quarters of a mile from Bourbon Street. So we walked our butts off. We walked a lot. Um, and it was hot in the upper 90s. I don't know if it was upper over 100, but I know it was in the upper 90s, but it's worse because it's about 200% humidity. It's ridiculous. So, <clears throat> we did a lot of walking and a lot of sweating, which was good because that got rid of a lot of drinking that we did. And eating. A lot of eating. <clears throat> I had, um, crawfish etouffee that I wanted and beignets twice so I was a happy girl 
<clears throat> we went to one place and had, um, they called them Cajun egg rolls. They were fantastic. Um, it was my birthday while we were there. And on my birthday, we couldn't decide on any place to eat. So we were like, you know what, let's just go into the Hard Rock. And we went in there and ate. And I didn't know this, but they have a burger that's unique to each location. It's based on the flavors of the area. So we got that. <clears throat> and it had uh, the regular beef patty, but it also had a patty they made out of crawfish etouffee. Um, and some kind of, a more local kind of sauce on it and everything. It was really good. Where else? Oh, we ate at one place and we got like a sampler platter. Dax and I almost always split a meal. Um, we got a sampler platter with fried shrimp and fried oysters and fried something else. I don't remember. Um, I don't like oysters, so I gave all those to Dax. He found a pearl in one of them. <clears throat> he said he almost broke a tooth, but... So looky there, I didn't win at the casino, but we got a pearl. That should uh, pay off big time, right? I worked on this one just a tiny little bit, again. <clears throat> I did the green of her feet. Foot, like a foot and a half. I know, Shelly, it's stunning, right? Stunning. <clears throat> I have to tell y'all, too, while we were there, in our hotel the first day, we carry our bags up, and I don't know if we were going back down to go find some place to eat, or if we were going to get something out of the car. I don't remember, but we went to the elevator. We were on the 11th floor. We went to the elevator, and as we're walking down the hall to the elevator, I'm like, what? What is that sound? And as we get closer, because at the room right across from the elevator, it's like, oh my God, it was people having sex. And it wasn't the moaning and groaning. Well, there was some of that going on, but really you had to kind of put your ear on the door. Kidding. Um, <clears throat> but it was actual bodies slapping together, having sex. And we're just like, <clears throat> all the years we've been to Vegas, never happened. Which, I would expect it more so there than New Orleans, but they were getting after it, I tell you that. I almost couldn't get Dax on the elevator. Jeez. Anyway, it's always a lot of fun with us. Y'all should come hang out with me. I worked just a tiny bit more on the little Indian girl. <clears throat> I thought I had this one fully kitted up, and for whatever reason, I'm missing the color that goes in there, but I think last time all I had was part of her boots, so I got that filled in, but it's time to move on, because she was just a new start for that week. <clears throat> so that's all she'll get done for probably the next five years until I pull it out again. I worked on my little welcome birdhouses. It's another one. I, I really don't know what I did. <laughs> I think I filled in this right in here and maybe this right here. I'm not sure. But like a lot of this on this birdhouse this right here is not filled in, all of this. And it's not on the chimney either. I need to just do maybe a little uh, backstitching and make it look a little better. Oh, I did backstitch the bird. I don't know if I did this time or last time and then filled in some of this because there was some of this, these half stitches were missing. There's gonna be a little bird that goes there. So I did do that. <clears throat> Maybe I do remember what I did. Um, I don't know if y'all follow me on uh, 
my personal page on Instagram, which is Life with Quads, if you want to do that, um, or on Facebook. But I posted a picture of in our room in the little kitchen the salt and pepper shakers. My God, they put <clears throat> their little glass salt and pepper shakers, and they took the lids off and put in little individual packets of salt and pepper in them. I laughed so hard, y'all. Craziness. <clears throat> I worked on um, Solitude, which still it looks like absolutely nothing. <clears throat> but I have gotten my two blocks for September are completely filled in and done now. Um, so I would really like to go ahead and as quickly as possible get my blocks for the rest of the year filled in so that I can start on next year's blocks because I think I've way overextended myself for next year. But that's the beauty of cross stitch. We all overextend ourselves and go, oh yeah, yeah, I can get that done. Easy. That won't take very long at all. Don't we all underestimate how long this stuff takes? Holy cow. I am still so out of sorts after when we got back from New Orleans. We did not go into work. Um, we got home late on Thursday night, so we didn't go in Friday or the weekend. And while we were in New Orleans, we stayed up very late, and I slept in, which is way crazy for me. I usually get up at 5, as I've said probably a million times before. Um, and from sleeping in and getting totally out of whack, I think it was last Sunday, um, I woke up at like 1.30 in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep. It was ridiculous. So... During the past week, finally got that all worked out, I think. And then Friday, Dax and Wyatt uh, left because they had drill this weekend. And they got home last night around 7 or 8, and Dax goes, let's go have a drink. And I said, sure. Um, I, anytime, I'm always glad to go and just the two of us get away. And so we did that and started talking to these people and they bought us a drink and then the bartender opened another beer and put in front of us and Dax is like, did you order that? And I'm like, no. And he didn't, but they were open and there they were. So we paid for them. So long story short, we drank more than we ever intended to because we usually go and have one or two and then come home. So we were out way late. Wyatt left this morning to fly to Minnesota to visit his girlfriend for a week. Um, his flight left at 6 this morning, which, because we <clears throat> live out in the country, we had to leave our house at 3.30 this morning. I guess it was really around 3.45 to get him to the airport on time and all of that. So, once again, sleep all messed up. He's coming back later. We don't have to be at the airport so early in the morning, thank God. What, I, what got into him to even think to do that? Seriously. <clears throat> okay, I stitched on the friendship quilts. I always just call it the porch. But I love all of these. Paula Vaughn. I, I love them, but this thing is freaking huge. I mean, and it's one of these patterns. <clears throat> but I used to have a whole bunch of these. I thought, maybe I just thought about having a whole bunch of these because if I have them still, I have no idea where they are. <clears throat> On this one, because um, I just worked on it a few days ago, I filled in, there were some things missing here along the swing, 
So I filled those in. I think it makes it look a little bit more like the bottom of a swing than it used to. And I filled in this, I guess these are pillows. So I need to fill in the middle in that one. I think this is another one that I may need to backstitch as I go because getting this whole thing done, all the stitching, and then having to go back and backstitch may be more than I can handle. Um, it's got a lot of, like a lot of this in the shading in here are half stitches. I think up here too, but I'm not sure. Which, that makes it better, right? A little less intimidating. My new start for last week, and this one I worked on a lot in the car, um, was the last Santa ornament from last year, which is out of this Cross Stitch magazine, November, December of 1988. This Santa, which means if I get this one done, I'm going to have to find what I did with those cookie cutters. But I got quite a bit of him done. His hat goes up in here, but it's up in the hoop. So I'm feeling like I might be able to actually finish these four this year. There's really no reason I couldn't have finished them last year, except for I didn't work on them. <clears throat> Shelly had asked me if I had any idea what I was going to do for them for this year. And seeing that it's already August, um, I have this kit that I've had for a very long time. Um, 1988 is the copyright on it. That's probably when I bought it. It is still sealed. Um, back when you could buy a kit for $9 at the regular price at Michael's. But this one's embroidery. These teddy bears. And I thought that I would do it because embroidery is faster. And so... And, you know, I've only had the kit forever. So, I think I'm going to do those. And that kind of counts as cleaning out my craft room, right? Because that won't be in the drawer anymore. <clears throat> and then my new start from this past week. This is a free pattern. If anybody decides that they want them, here's, it's a birdhouse. She has, like, a different, this one's says it's for July, but she has like a different birdhouse for um, every month. If you're interested, let me know and I'll, because the website cut off down here, and I'll go back and try to actually find it. Try being the keyword. But this is obviously where I got. It's kind of quick, you know. There's not a ton of stitching in it, so just to have started it and to be there. For me, I feel like that was moving along pretty quick, but it's time for it to get put up again, so. <clears throat> I think that's everything I actually cross-stitched on. I did a few more strawberries, but I haven't stuffed them yet. I've got the tops cut out and all of that. Um. What else? While we were in New Orleans, I had told Dax that I wanted, um, you know, some kind of, I would like to find a cross-stitch pattern. And I made him go into some uh, national park, um, like uh, Jean Lafitte's national park, um, to try to look for, to see if they would have any cross-stitch, anything. They didn't. But we were walking down... Um, one of the, we were not on Bourbon Street, but we were down in the quarter walking around on some of the other streets. And I didn't even see it, but Dax did see, um, it was called the Quarter Stitch. And it was mostly yarn. Um, they had a lot of needlepoint canvases hanging on the wall. Painted canvases, you know. But they had one tiny little section with cross-stitch patterns. So, <clears throat> uh, 
I was happy to get this one. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the Café du Monde up there. I think I'm just going to leave it with uh, coffee and beignets in the New Orleans because I ate beignets at more than just Café du Monde. So, um, this is the name of the place, the Quarter Stitch. Dax pointed it out. I would have walked by it. I was looking on the other side of the street. So I would have walked by it. He could have gotten away without having to even go in there. Um, maybe pointing it out was my birthday present. <laughs> uh, I had ordered a shirt off of... Uh, I'd seen the ad on Facebook that had to do with my name. <clears throat> and so I took it with us to New Orleans. It had come in. And on my birthday, I took it out of the package and I was like thank you so much for my new shirt I really love it and he's like oh yeah I thought you would <laughs> because that's how it works um but anyway he stayed with me the whole time I was in this shop looking around and he didn't complain once but I think he stayed in there because I think he saw the price on those painted canvases for the needlepoint so he felt like he needed to stick around <laughs> But this one has beads. It has like one in each corner, right? So it, it has four beads on it. They had a really cute one that was like a Mardi Gras mask, and it actually had beads that hung, and I think the whole mask was made out of beads. Um, they had one that was made out of specialty fibers that was all sparkly, um... And then they had one that was a mask that was stitched, but the Mardi Gras beads were made out of green and purple beads. But we weren't there at Mardi Gras, so this one spoke to me more. So that's what I got. That has been pretty much the only thing that I've actually gotten that was a pattern. I just ordered one on eBay because I had liked it and... The seller sent me an offer for three dollars and sixty cents for the pattern with free shipping. So, yeah, I'll take that. Um, got other stuff. Yesterday, I went to I stopped at the thrift shop and I got this bag of zippers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but look at all those zippers for two dollars. We're going to be zipping some stuff up around here. I don't know what. Why the heck not? And then they had these hoops. Just one of the metal ones. This is a wood one with the spring. This one is nice thick wood. I like a wooden hoop. And this one's really nice wood. It's not like uh, the hoops now, the wooden hoops where they're kind of flimsy. And then this plastic one, it's got the lip on it, which is always preferable. They were a quarter a piece. You can't. 25 cents? Yeah, I'll take it. And then they also have this. Oops. It's got a drawer down here. Maybe I'll put the zippers in there. I don't know. Um, Kirsten said, it was $8. Kirsten said, what are you going to do with that? I'm like, it's $8. You don't have to know what you're going to do with it. I said, you buy it, and then you find something to do with it. So, that's the truth of the matter. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it was eight bucks. I looked at it, and I walked off, found the zippers, found the hoops, walked around some more, and I'm like, you know what? No, for eight dollars, I'm buying it. So, here it is, taking up room. Oh, well. It kind of defeats the purpose of me going through and getting rid of things if I keep buying things. But in my defense, I'm buying for more organization, really. Right? That'll help. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see, what else? Anything else fun in New Orleans? Um, we were walking down Canal Street. That's where our uh, hotel was on Canal Street. We were walking down Canal Street on the way to the quarter. And this, <laughs> we saw this guy walking down 
this street with the IV pole, the IVs on it, all plugged into him. And it's like, dude, if you've got to push that around, seriously, dirty ass French Quarter in New Orleans is not the place for you to be. Really. Although it was really way cleaned up. We hadn't been in close to 20 years. It was way cleaned up compared to what it was the last time we were there. And I mean, like, the last time we were there, like, every other business was strippers of some sort. Um, some female, some male, some male with boobs. Um, which I made Dax take me into one of those last time because I'm a, I want to know what other people are doing kind of person. So I made him take me in. And so before we left this time, he's like, I'm not going into any of those places. <laughs> it's like, you don't have to. I've been, I've been there. I've done that. So it's all good. But there were, there were probably only four or five that we saw this time. So a whole lot fewer. I was amazed by the parents who had their kids, elementary age kids, down on Bourbon Street at 10 o'clock at night. Um, yeah, their kids were learning a whole lot of things about adults that they probably didn't mean to know yet, but it's not my decision to make. So anyway, that was... Uh, an interesting time. It was a fun time. It was relaxing, but at the same time exhausting because of all the walking that we did. Um, but like I said, lots of good food, lots of drink. On our way home, we left New Orleans. We timed it so that as we got to Houston, we would miss rush hour traffic at five. Um, so we pulled through Houston probably 6.30 or 7, tons of traffic. I mean, we saw a sign that we were heading westbound, that uh, the far left lane westbound was closed due to an accident, you know, and it tells you what accident's near. And we get up there, and that left lane is indeed closed, but on the eastbound side, the entire freeway was closed. And Dax was like, I don't know what's going on, but I could see blue lights everywhere you know there are police everywhere and as we got closer there was like this one car and a truck and we're like i don't know why they have the whole freeway shut down it doesn't look like that bad of an accident well then we noticed the helicopters overhead and we're like okay what's going on was it a chase and those are police helicopters is it news whatever you know what's going on so we um I got it on my phone and looked it up for one of the local stations in Houston. And two people in five o'clock rush hour traffic, um, I don't know if they knew the people or what was going on, got out of their car and opened fire on the two people behind them. Um, they killed both of them, but I read that they were also had their guns and they were like looking around at maybe other people to shoot and some guy that was stuck in traffic while all of this was going on um he fired his weapon he was a concealed carry holder and not at them or anything he just fired his weapon and when they saw that he was armed they got in their car and left i haven't checked recently i don't know if they caught the people who did it or not they were thinking it might be drug related because the two people in the car that got killed had a garbage bag full of marijuana in the car. Um, it was craziness, the whole thing. Uh, who does stuff like that? I, we, Dax, tracked the backup from where they had that the freeway shut down because, like I said, it was rush hour traffic and. I told Dax, if you wanted to commit a crime in Houston, you know, go rob a bank. Right now's the time to do it because every cop is over here working this. Um, and I don't think it had been terribly long since it had happened. 
because we saw the forensics team on their way to theirs, so they really hadn't even started their investigation yet. But the backup from that was seven miles long, and it wasn't like it was moving slowly. It was not hardly moving at all. I felt bad for everybody involved. <clears throat> well, not the two that started the whole thing. I don't feel bad for them. But <clears throat> other than that, we arrived home safely late at night, and it was good to be back home and in our own bed. Our hotel was a block off of I-10. Um and close to Tulane Medical Center. So, and our room was um, on a corner. It had, you know, windows on both sides of the room. So we had a great view of the city and uh, all that kind of stuff. But being next to the medical center, I didn't even realize it was there. I know now to look because there were ambulances all day and all night. It was nonstop. Dax said I was going to have to make ambulance noises so he could fall asleep after we got home. <clears throat> but live and learn. We had a good time and we left the uh, fan for the AC on all night to help drown out some of it. But other than that, that's really all the excitement uh, that we've had going on here, I guess. I'm trying to see if there's anything else, and I don't think so. If there is, I guess I'll figure it out next time. Um, as always, thank you everyone for dropping by, for watching. Thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. It is all greatly appreciated. And y'all have a wonderful week, and we will see you here next time. Thanks, y'all.